Public interest appears to have surged due to the intense polarization in American politics and growing anxieties about the nation's future trajectory. This wave of support can be viewed as a public outcry for leadership that embodies common sense, patriotism, and traditional American values. The analysis underscores the critical role of authenticity and accountability in political decisions, emphasizing the urgent need for a government that genuinely reflects the will of the people. But there seemed to be a clear strategy on the part of the Democrats to try to appeal to the Republicans. And of course, Donald Trump has absolutely solid support in the Republican base, but there are a lot of Republicans uneasy uh, uh, with him as the nominee again, and they seem to be going right at them. Well, in every election, John, you have some members of one party endorsing a candidate of the other party. That's a very traditional aspect of American politics. I mean, look at what just happened this week. The Democratic Party under Kamala Harris has gone so far to the left that you actually had a Kennedy endorse a Republican. That's pretty remarkable that the Democratic Party has become so radical under Kamala Harris that a member of the Kennedy family has come out to endorse a Republican. I don't know if Bobby Kennedy Jr. at this point is that representative of the Kennedy family. RFK Jr. S. Endorsement of a Republican candidate serves as a stark signal of how dramatically the Democratic Party has veered from its foundational principles. Given the Kennedy family's deep-rooted ties to the Democratic Party, this support can be seen as a powerful repudiation of the party's current path under Kamala Harris. This realignment suggests a departure from the core values that once unified Americans across party lines, including a strong national identity the defense of individual freedoms, and a steadfast commitment to a free market economy.